Hello and welcome to Stars in the Dark. Uh, we, we, I think we figured out that this is session 30, even though it's episode 29, because we did a session zero with character creation and, and all that stuff. So uh, that's weird, but here we are. Um, we started a new job last session. I'll talk a little bit about that, but let me go through the new wishes uh, from last time and some from the, the session before, uh, before we get into that. So from last session, uh, we had a wish to see the park on 1314, which is where the, the noble families live. Uh, an interlude with uh, Balsi and Roslyn. Uh, Roslyn, uh, Bria's aunt, grabbed Valsi and, and uh, took him away from, from uh, his mother because she was a bad influence. Or, or, and that's probably fair. Uh, we should name the ship. Uh, we want some action sequences. We'll see, maybe. Uh, I can't promise that this job depends on how you go about it. Um, and from before then, uh, name NPCs on 1314. I have done that uh, a bit, mostly in relation to, uh, to this job, but there are some other uh, people there as well. Uh, see some consequences for shifting the focus to 1314. Uh, explore the flashback mechanics and push for more turn. So those are, are some wishes. Um, yeah. Last session. Let, let's uh, let's do um, let's go around uh, go around uh, the horn and see talk about something you did last session. Uh, if anyone remembers, it was two weeks ago. So uh, Kai has his mic on, so I'll start with Kai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Don't think, let me see. I don't think I've typed up any notes in the character keeper. I oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I wanted to find, um, I wanted to get uh, a Bade into the pod racing circuit. And so I started to find us a garage. That was what I was working on. And I met um, uh, uh, a species that I've never seen on screen before. And uh, we sort of, you know, have made a, a gentle person's agreement to maybe do this. And then I think Bade was like doing the actual racing, was showing other people how to race and stuff, or at least how to fly. But that, that's what I remember doing was being in that garage. Yeah. Yeah, you, you met uh, Girk, the Wifid. Uh, Wifids the are, they're generally, or they're, they're from a fairly primitive planet. Uh, they're big guys with big faces and big teeth, uh, kind of like a cross between a, a Wookiee and a, what are they called? The ones who are all face. Um, <laughs> yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, they're uh, super weird looking. Um, yeah. And you started making some some contact there. He he was not. Uh, uh, I meant the Chevin. The Chevin are the ones who are all face. Uh, they're like uh, face and legs. Um, yeah, uh, you started talking to him, uh, making some inroads there, uh, with the goal of making him a, um, a cohort, uh, uh, an expert for for the gang or for the crew, uh, basically. Yeah. So, uh, Stevan, what did they get up to? Um, so I have down in my notes that our next job is to smuggle drugs to Trani Nirmal to get in with the house Nirmal so that they can be our sponsor. Now, as I recall, I had a, a, a hookup with the gray mice in order to deal with a uh, pharmacist who could get us the drugs that were needed on 1314. And um, I think we 
started up with my contact, got in touch with the pharmacist, and then cut my contact out and said, it's just you and me, pharmacist. And we started to, you know, work out how to run the drugs back and forth. We landed the entire ship at the pharmacy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember how far we got into. We did the engagement role, so so we we've done that. We've established that you're in a the standard risky uh, position. And uh, that was, this was the engagement role to run the drugs. Yeah, to set up okay. the 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 drug, the whole whole thing. Okay. Um, because this is not just doing one run. This is like establishing a a, a continuous delivery. Uh, right. Which is why and, this job will probably be a little bit different than the ones we've done before. And it's developing a relationship, right? Yeah. We're trying to do that at the same time. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, Rich, what did Etma do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I went back looking at my pitiful notes that I usually do a better job with if I'm running a game. And I have. Um, session 26 in my notebook and it says court black and that's the only note on the whole page uh, i think you went to a brothel like, yes uh, i did some downtime with at my a contact with yeah, my yeah, contact yeah. yeah with your contact your cool contact who has beef with you right well we have a, a rivalry we have a rivalry. rivalry yeah and i use that i'm sure probably for well she, fun. she wants to get she wants to say that she wants to get the info before i do and you kind of gave her some info so yeah there was, you go that worked yeah. out great for cool. me mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for that reminder help yeah um so yeah uh the way i think uh we will do this is since most of the jobs we've done so far is go to the place, get the thing, or kill the person, or or whatever. It's it's been this fairly quick, like in in world time, a few hours, maybe a day, has has been the the time scale. Uh, but now you need to kind of set up delivery, talk to people, that sort of thing. It's not just get the get the drugs and and bring them it's it's setting up this uh this um pipeline i guess uh which means i think this will be a job that will like take place over several days uh and will probably be more social than than action oriented uh but we'll see maybe you you figure out a completely different way to to do this but yeah, I, uh, as I recall, what, what Stephen said was uh, was correct. Uh, you figured out uh, a pharmacy. You you had you found a pharmacist who who supplies uh, this. I named the drug, and it's on the current jobs tab. It's Kashnarian uh, eel oil. Um, I don't know what. I shouldn't say that, but I don't know what Kashnarian means. It's a planet or an eel or something. You need Kashnarian eel oil. Uh, and uh, it's produced on 1313, and it's legal on 1313, but it's banned on 1314 for some reason. Um, so you can get it easily on 1313. You've found a pharmacist who, who supplies it. Um, but you need to set up uh, regular deliveries. Uh, or at least semi-regular semi deliveries. Uh, and Bade uh, used a contact a person. I named uh, the person as Fingers. Uh, she's uh, another person from your, from your old crew. She was the one who introduced you to the pharmacist, whose name is Dangcha. Uh, and, um, but then you've, you've cut her out. It's just like you talk to her, yeah, I need I need a pharmacist, and I recall, as I recall, you used uh, a member of your crew as kind of a go-between, or was no, it was someone else. Yeah, it was uh, Sparks, maybe is that her name? Sparks is something I think I have written down somewhere. Yeah, it's Sparks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Sparks. You used her kind of as a go-between so that you you could cut fingers out without uh, without her knowing. 
So yeah, uh, where I think we are is that you've established that Dancha can supply uh, as much of this uh, uh, of this eel oil as you require to to keep uh, Chirani uh, to supply her basically. Um, but you need to to set up transportation. Uh, you need a, a regular pipeline unless you want to like carry it on your uh, on your ship whenever you you go through the rand. Uh, but then you need to have a drop-off point, and uh, it's a whole thing. So, uh, but but we're it's it's open up to you how you want to uh, go about this. We're too big to to really be like delivery people now. I mean, we're too important. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and, and I want to mention, I picked a picture for Chirani where she looks like she's like a young teenager. Uh, if that if this gets weird or, or uncomfortable because she's, uh, she's um, this kind of puts her in peril, then let me know and we'll, we'll fix it. It's, it's not like she's in immediate danger of death, but this is a, it's a medicine that she needs. So uh, if it gets uncomfortable, we'll, we'll uh, figure something. Yeah. Um, so there was this point where they'd uh, was on a like on a, a like a ferry up to thirteen fourteen or something like that. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 they the Yeah, yeah, took the. And, the Elevator ferry, I guess. Elevator <laughs> ferry. Uh, up and up went fine. Down did not go as well. Right. Uh, was there was a shootout? They crashed the ferry into a uh, into a building in the or touched made a made a mark on on a building in the garrison and then crashed somewhere in fish market. I think. So they need a new one, right? Um, there, there are more. I mean, it's not like there. Uh, it, it's been several weeks since then. It's not like traffic has been. Bad. Sure, but like they may have put in an order for a new one, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, what if we went to the people that are making it and had them like put in a compartment for us? Yeah, I like that. I think that's from. We first season of weeds, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's certainly part of it. Uh, you still need to get the the uh, oil into the compartment and have someone bring it out, but that's that's a, a clever way. Yeah, um, I think this is being made. Let me let me make a roll here. Um, I'm gonna roll three dice and see how well this is handled. Oh yeah, Kaidar Kaidar Patsit, <laughs> attendant on dock ferry that transports <laughs> and will terrorize this guy. <laughs> He'll be our drop off guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, they are basically. Uh, they have an, they, while they're waiting for, for uh, a new, a, a fully built new one that will come delivered from, from way higher up uh, on Coruscant. There's a, there's a factory somewhere that makes these, uh, uh, but they're repairing an old one to, to put in uh, at least temporarily, but probably it will stay in service because, yeah, it's, it's going to be a while. And some one of the other ones will probably that's more run down will probably be rotated out. So uh, yeah, that that's roughly uh, the plan. I think you can you can find this out without uh, too much trouble. Um, yeah. So there there, there is a, a a ferry that's that's going to be in use soon. That's not currently in use. And they're, they're doing this uh, at the docks 
uh, on 1330. So we can, I think we can walk about freely <laughs> with no concern. Our, our face is held high. So I think the way that we need to set this up is, um, well, whenever we would really want to smuggle things, what we would do is we would go in and make sure that it doesn't tie it to a particular person. So if we could basically send in maybe a different person every time and say, oh, just take this package and, you know, you'll put it in the overhead bin, but then you'll push it to the side. And when you push it to the side, um, that's where the, the cubby hole is. And it just closes after it and you can't see it. And then whenever someone goes to pick it up, they they just go to leave and they just reach inside that little cubby hole and pull it back out. And then we have a different passenger go in there every time and nobody ever really knows, can't trace it. Yeah, except that doesn't really pass. Then they still have to bring it through customs. Ah, so they'd have to go through customs before they got to the ship. Okay. It could be, I mean, not everyone. I, I think the way it works is like they do spot checks. They don't, they don't check everyone. Uh, occasionally, they will check the ferry, like do a sweep there, and I think this could could work for that. Uh, like keep it keep it hidden on the ferry, but if they get checked when they're uh, going to or from uh, the ferry, then they'd be in trouble. Not on 1313, they don't care. I mean, it's legal there, uh, but on 1314, when they're leaving, uh, it could be an issue. What do you all think? Sorry? I was asking them, do you think there might yeah. be a better way? Actually, yeah. We could see about taking it in with, is there like a meal service on this ferry? No, there surely wouldn't no, be. No, 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 no. It's just, I mean, it's a it's couple good. of minutes from, from you get on to until you get off. But I mean, it. if the compartment is, and now I'm just uh, speculating, if the compartment is, somewhere where um, like the the service crew or something gets at it then you could use them uh, but if you if you're uh, if you're using the passengers then you still need to handle uh, customs and MS. yeah Ed, Edema would would point out listen I understand the value of being able to swap a lot of people out, but that means there's a lot of people that know about this. Let's say we try to work an inside person to do the work for us. It means we have one person to hold responsible and one person to control. And they get in on the action, so they might be more inclined to not screw us. What if we had... Uh, 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 Go ahead. No, please go ahead. What if we had a, a droid that was registered to a really important person and it just walks off the ship and they're like, oh, don't don't sweep it. That's so and so's, you know, just let it go do its thing or something like that. Like it's going to go pick up eggs or something. I don't know. Um, wouldn't even need a compartment at that point, just be inside the droid. Um, but anyway, that kind of poo poos the entire idea I came up with. So. I kind of like the idea of using droids nobody expects a droid that's my thought too um we also so what i was going to say is could we pull in other crew members that we have that could either be you know maybe we could get a crew member a job at the spaceport and they could be our contact in the repair crew or we have a chop shop droid <laughs> Sorry. I just love that chop shop droid, and that's awesome. I was curious if we could end up getting, you know, you know, getting this droid as a gang member. Hmm. What about the? Uh, oh yeah, the the bolt cutters, right? We gave them a brain a long time ago. Um. Yeah. Maybe they'd have a maybe they'd have a volunteer, and we could start like working together on missions or something. Yeah, they don't really like you though, 
because yeah. you killed a bunch of them uh, when you first the brain. the artifact. Yeah, yeah. It's true, but in our defense, they did get in our way. <laughs> yeah. In our defense, I mean... we're not nice people, so. <laughs> no, no, we're not. So yeah, I like all of those. I think what we have on the table is a compartment, um, a uh, inside person who's on the on the take, or a droid. I think I like the droid best out of all of those. That gives us a, that gives us an NPC to kind of interact with. What do you all think? Works for me. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, cool. So then I figure you need to procure a droid, uh, rig them uh, for this, and set up the registration, like the cover identity, uh, right? Makes yeah. sense. Is this a clock thing? Um, if not, not sure. that's fine. I'm just. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. I, I should be, I should be uh, using more clocks, but I'm not sure if that's uh, what this is. Um, I feel like I don't want to reduce like the whole job to just one clock, and uh, but I'm not sure these separate things are are like whole clocks of their own. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Which is a part of it that felt. Like it sounds like we're constructing a project, but I'm cool to take it to more active pursuits. That's totally cool with me. So it seems like yeah. Yeah. Uh, getting the droid is a step, and um, then um, so are the the family that we're dealing with are they important enough? Could this droid be for them? The Neuromol? House Nirmal? Uh Sure. I mean, they're they're nobility. Uh, they're rich. So yeah, absolutely. Um, you'd have to make sure they go along with it, or you have to do it without them knowing about it. Um, so I think I think as we set this up. So I think I. So what's in my head, Canon, is we need a short-term solution to start getting the drugs to the uh, uh, to the girl quickly. But the long-term solution, I think, is this protocol droid or some kind of droid, like a, a shopper droid, that shops for House Neuromo and gets supplies, but on the side, we've made sure that they also have this contraband. Yeah. And I, so... think, we, I think we equivalently say, well, we'll sell House Neuromo this droid, so it's their droid. Um, and everyone will know it, but effectively we're facilitating that whole route. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the droid will just go to the pharmacy, pick this up, put it in a secret compartment, get on the ferry, uh, go up to 1314, and maybe they check the, the regular things, but they won't like check inside the droid because that's... Um, that would probably, unless they got a tip off, they wouldn't probably think of it. Uh, is that kind of where where we're what we're talking about? You're yeah, I think so. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. So I think then that you need to get a droid. You need to uh, like adapt the droid, fix this uh, secret compartment, um, maybe set things up with, with uh, Dancha that he, so that he knows that this is the droid that, that's supposed to do the thing, uh, if that's even necessary, uh, and set things up with, uh, with Kivel, who is uh, Chirani's uh, mother, and uh, the chief of operations for for uh, House Niramal, which bas basically means she runs assets like you. So 
So does that uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. Um, then I kind of think that hmm, I'm trying to figure out what's the what's the job part here, but I think we'll just we'll just we'll, we'll just play it out and and see uh, see how it works out. Because the, the, since this is uh, this is the first time we do this kind of thing, I'm not sure. Should this be a job? Should this just have been like some downtime activity? Should it just be free play? I don't know. But let's say this is a job, but if we have a, a different time scale from from what we usually do, I think that's how we'll do it. Um, that means you'll be able to to like switch load and that sort of thing. Uh, so so we won't push that side of things uh, unless we're we're in a specific situation where it matters. Um, yeah. So um, who's getting the drawing? And how are you doing? Well, my contact is the chop shop guy, so I can go and talk to him if we're not going to go to the bolts because they don't like us. Yeah, like you had the the chop chop droid is is your expert your cohort on so she's on the ship. Um. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I had my mind that she was in a garage somewhere, but yeah, got it. So, so uh, that's, that's right. I think your chop the chop chop droid would be good for making the modifications to the droid, right? Yeah. Um, finding the droid. I was looking through the MPC tab. Um, there's a couple of Jawa Street Hustlers. Um, let's see, named Sneedatel and Twamawook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's also Clintlock Zoo, who's a tech genius. We could go to either of those as contacts and say, hey, you know, we want to buy a droid, but it needs to be, you know, a decent droid. Well, let's look through your models. We don't want a, a we don't want a sweeper droid down here from thirteen thirteen. We want an uppity droid because we want to impress some clients. Yeah. Oh, we we have a great droid for you. It's it's a it's a protocol droid, and we we have a, a an, an extra voice box. It's really good. Is it clean? I mean, it's not hot. No, no, it's super clean. Yeah, well, we'll have to see it. Let me let me take a look. Um, yeah, um, that was the Jawas, obviously. <laughs> so roll something to to check out this uh, this drawing they have. It looks kind of dinky. I mean, but but it's it's it is a, a protocol droid. Um, it's obvious that it's been modified, uh, yeah. but uh, yeah. So I'll roll Tinker for that. Um, let's see. So let me think about a little bit about how to get extra dice. I could push myself. I could ask for help. I could do a devil's bargain. Um, I think that's it. Um, and were it risky, normal effect? Yeah, risky standard. Okay. Um, I think in this case, I'll push myself to get an extra die. Oh. Yeah. This is a little bit more important. Let's see how bad that is. I got a five. Get a five, so you do it with a consequence. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. It's not harm. I don't think it's reduced effect. I don't think your position becomes desperate, so there's some sort of complication. Um, it's missing a part. Yeah, or it's the the droid isn't registered. It's been uh, it's been wiped, so it, it's not registered anywhere. So you'd need to to fix that Super with the clean. authorities. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so that you, kind that, of falls into line. That, that's a consequence, so you can resist it if you want to. 
no, I, I, I'm not going to resist that. I think that's perfectly okay. You know, we're going to have to, the, our customer, our client is going to have to register it anyway. So the fact that it's been wiped is probably fine. Yeah, I think the problem is that it could be, uh, I mean, if it, it, it's like buying a, uh, you're buying a car and you can't say who you bought it from. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Oh, it's well understood. Our client will have to grease some wheels, our client meaning us. We'll have to grease some hands in order to get it to go well. But yeah, got it. Yeah, I yeah. think that's fine. Told you. Told you it was clean. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, next time, next time we come down here, we'll come to you first. Oh, always, always come to us first. We have the best things. Do you need uh, do you need couplers? We have couplers. So we need to name that droid, and then I think I'll take that back to Val and the Chop Shop droid and have them try and see what they can do with the uh, compartment. Yeah. So um, we can have uh, Eve roll her expertise uh, since this is their uh, their thing. Um, and that means they roll their your tier plus one because they're doing their their expert thing. Uh, so that's three dice if someone wants to uh, to roll that. I'm having connectivity issues with the track with the roller, so I can't. Oh. I'll do it. I just have to actually go to the roller. <laughs> Der her. <laughs> Two, three, and a five. Cool. Uh, so again, that means uh, there is some sort of, of complication. Um, I think I have a suitable image for the draw. So this, um, is, is, this isn't one of the roles where it's just a chart and like five, four and five gets you one thing, six gets you another? Uh, no, th this is an action role. Okay. Um, so Which means the consequences can be uh, yeah. persisted. It's like an image in the image piece tab, so you can name it if you want. I mean, you can name it whatever you want. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what 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 is a, a suitable complication here. Uh, core personality chatty. <laughs> I mean, it's protocol droid, so that's why I think of immediately. Is oh man, shut up! Please yeah, up. yeah. Uh, Eve had to 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 fit this uh, this compartment. Uh, she had to cut out some some behavior inhibitors. Uh, so uh, the droid is is uh, it's going to talk a lot, and it likes to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, exactly that's who we need is our little spy droid is uh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. chatty gambler droid. <laughs> Want to bet? Bet, 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 bet. It's like, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, blow on the dice. Blow on the dice. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there was a subplot or a plot on Flint, on the Flintstones where F Fred for a period was addicted to gambling and he would just, repeat the word bet excitedly over and over. And for some reason, that's always stuck in my head. Uh, so the droid's name is Freddy. Bet, bet, bet. Let's go. 
him and Yanush talk a lot. We have, we've now created the worst possible droid. Like we've created our own failure. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah, uh, but, but but the droid has the compartment. Uh, it's uh, up and running. Um, so so that part is is done. Um, I think you probably need to. Uh, someone would probably need to go with the droid on the first uh, run uh, to like show it which way to go. Uh, show it the ferry, that sort of thing. Well, I'm the only one who hasn't been put on a wanted poster in this area, so I think it's probably going to have to be me. <laughs> Either that, we can send one of our gang members to do it. We don't use, we don't do that very much, you know. Just roll command to see if they can do the job right. But... <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you you don't uh, you don't trust your gang very much. <laughs> no, now that was maybe for good reason, but <laughs> uh, maybe that was a different character. Maybe I do trust my crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you trust the crew. You don't trust like the the lower the lower tier in the gap. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to do it yourself, or do you want to send someone, someone from the gang? Do you want to go yourself, but take a couple of people from the gang with you? What's the what's the plan? Just make a gang member do it. This this, is, this sounds great. Ooh. Cool. So, who do you want to send? Yeah. Who? <clears throat> they are all on row seventeen in the NPCs. In case folks are. I mean, it's not a maybe. It's Cuban, which is a, a plus, probably. Um, Yeah, let me check. What are their drawbacks? Oh, we haven't defined their no drawbacks. Awesome. Yeah. They're the, per they're the perfect gang number. It's not a nose or stuff, you guys. Um, we had, I think we had some from before. Let me yeah, they used to be fearsome and unreliable, which seems perfect for this. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not sure if that's true anymore now that you're on the uh, on the ship, uh, and they're kind of different. I need to look up what the various gang things are. Um, there's a, there's a few different tags you can uh, you can add to the yeah they can be um, the edges which are the the advantages they get one or two and they get an equal number of flaws the edges are fearsome which means they're terrifying in aspect and reputation. They can be independent, which means they can be trusted to make good decisions and act on their own initiative in the absence of direct orders. They can be loyal, which means they can't be bribed or turned against you. And they can be tenacious. They won't be deterred from a task. Uh, so those are the edges. Let's, let's pick uh, one or two of those for your gang. Any suggestions? I like the ones where they're competent on their own. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Independent. Yeah, independent. Yeah. Uh, and I think, uh, I mean, some of these, in, some of these have been with you for a long time. 
they have some experience and the new guys you've brought in they are also they, they seem fairly competent i mean they they know what they're doing um so do you want just that one floor or edge or do you want uh, one more which means of course you'll have to have two floors as well where is this in the blades book it's on page 96 okay thank you of the uh, yeah it's page, page 96 by the page numbers it's 104 by the pdf numbers you're the best. So uh, I'll go through the flaws. Uh, they can be principled, which means they have ethics or values that they won't betray. Uh, they can be savage, which means they're excessively violent and cruel. They can be unreliable, which means they're not always available due to other obligations, stupefaction from their vices, etc. That's what they were before. But they can be wild, which means they're a drunken, deport, debauched, and loudmouth. I like debauched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that fits. Debauched sounds amusing. So they're wild. Yep. Dependent and wild. Yeah, cool. So uh, you know that if you tell the tell them to do something and something happens they'll, they'll figure out a way to to uh to solve the problem uh but they also um yeah they're, they're probably not um they're not smooth and demure in all all uh, situations if things go bad they'll they may be maybe not turn directly to violence, but they, they tend more towards that. And when they party, then things really get out of hand. Cool. Uh, so you're sending Esnada with the droid. Um, your gang is the rovers, which means they're sailor, sailors, carriage drivers, and deathland scavengers, or in this case, REM scavengers. Um, this isn't specifically in, in that like um, wheelhouse, uh, but they're not, it, it's not completely different either. I mean, like leading a droid around, anyone can, can do that, really. So let's just roll, um, you can roll command if, one of you wants to do that. Otherwise, since they since they are independent, I figure we'll just roll their tier. So they have two two dice uh, or more if one of you has more in in band or want to to boost that. Don't think I'm seeing one die in command Val has two in command Val has two yeah yeah cool yeah right yeah I think I've taken care of the connectivity so let me see here okay so I'm and rolling. I, uh, sorry, I, I figure this is like a dry run. This isn't with the actual thing, um, because you need to to set up the the um, things on the other end before you can do the, the a proper delivery. But this is like to to show the droid uh, what they're going to do, but they're not actually bringing any of the uh, of the medicine on on this run. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so Val is rolling command at two dice, two dice, got a five. Nice. Um, so there is, how do you, how do you describe this to, to Estada when you send her off? 
Um, well, uh, uh, you know, she obviously has to take a how to take an elevator. Um, I think what I, I focus on is saying, um, you know, you and uh, the droids split up once you get onto the elevator and then just watch if, you know, if, if, the, if the people start uh, paying attention to it, then walk over and claim it. But if, if they don't, just watch how it gets through and um, report back. And if it doesn't work, let me know. But if it does work, then we've got the prototype for, for moving forward. Cool. Um, so do you, oh, sorry, I, I forget, uh, forgot to ask. Do you set up some sort of registration for the droid beforehand? Or um, do you plan to do that once you've got the droid up on 1340? I think we should probably do that on 1314. Um, make sure it's registered to House Normal, so they can send it out on, uh, you know, to get groceries and that kind of stuff, and come back. So it's not that unusual. Maybe it's wearing a fake uh, bolt, so that if it has no numbers on it, it isn't like no no one cares because it's it's bolted down or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um... Then I think the complication is that they they check the droid, uh, okay. which means, uh, and I think I think the, the, this is like uh, we we're seeing you 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 don't see this, but but the the audience sees uh, Esnada is she, she's hanging back. And the droid is is chatting with people, like being friendly, but but nobody right. really cares. Uh, I mean, it's a droid, uh, right. so there's like a, a a little kid who talks to it because it's fun to talk to a, to a droid that actually uh, responds and is interested. Um, but then when it goes off the ferry, uh, they have like a a spot check, they, they scan all the droids. Um, uh, so they, uh, they're going to bring it aside. And now Esnada has to decide if she's going to try to intervene or if she's just going to uh, let, this, let this happen and, and try to fix it later. And I'm going to make a roll for her. Uh, I'm going to roll her quality here. So if you don't. we don't normally uh, focus too much on like, letting uh, failures kind of sit. Like this may be like the idea, like this may be like, this is the wrong idea. Like they care more about the droids than we thought. Maybe you have to find something else um, kind of thing. I mean, I don't want to get rid of the droid. I, I hope it comes back, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, this isn't like going to invalidate your, your uh, acquiring the droid. It's just a question of how do you continue to the, to the next. Well, I guess uh, it was successful. There's just a complication. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And th this is like, how does Esnada try to solve uh, the the issue? Does that make sense, or is it too? Love it. Uh, I love watching Esnada do her stuff, even though it's the GM staring. I'm I'm happy with this. Yeah, the GM can talk to itself in three different ways. Himself in three different ways. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll just make a roll and see how she handles this. So she rolls a six. Uh, so she. She steps up to to uh, like these uh, troopers standing there scanning the droids, and and uh, he says, "No, no, the, this is my droid. It's not registered yet. I'm delivering it uh, to to um, someone in in house." And and she she has the name for for someone in house Niramal, uh, and they uh, they let her go with that. I mean, it's the the droid is bolted, so so it's it's fine. Uh, it's just that someone noticed that this was going on, uh, so they they may be a bit more uh, cautious in in the future. That's kind of the the consequence uh, to the role. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Well, Esnada doesn't gain. Uh, 
sorry, there, there was notes in the chat saying that Esnana is way better than Edema. And I'm like, yeah, but Esnana doesn't gain experience points when she doesn't punch something. <laughs> so. uh, no, no, she's just uh, she's just a, a part of, of the crew. We have to raise the uh, whole this... tier for her to get better at stuff. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're close. So soon, soon she, she will get better. I think this will like gain you one point, one extra point of heat, I think. Is kind of the the consequence because they they noticed that something was was going on, but there's there, there's nothing in particular to to point to. Uh, they kind of tagged uh, Nasetta as you know, hey, she was doing something weird. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, could we resist the consequence of the heat? Um, yeah, sure. And I think you would be the one who would do that since you were the one giving her the orders. Um, hmm. I can't think of how I would do that, though. I was like, I'm not sure how you do that. I was thinking the same thing. Um, I think you could, like, have given her some contingency plans or, or have provided her with documents. Documents. Uh, or something. Which uh, are on my character sheet. Yeah. Yeah, there are documents on my character sheet. So uh, she, she has, like, a, a fake title and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so. She, she has, like, provisionary paperwork that hasn't been filed yet, that sort of thing. Yeah, she, she has a uh, passport or something. Yeah. Um, so I need to roll. Oh, that's right. It's insight. I think this is an insight thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's three dice. Yeah. Because I have three. And dots. plus one die for your crew ability. Okay. I take one stress. Yeah. So no extra heat. I think one stress versus one heat is a pretty good payoff. I will yeah. trade your stress for our heat any day. Good choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's easier to get rid of stress than heat. So yeah, I think it's, it's probably a good trade. Um, yeah, so Esnada has brought the droid to 1314. Um, now you need to do like the, the registration and make sure that everything's set up. Uh, so how do you want to do that? So I'd say we need to do that kind of on the up and up, just, you know, register it like, you know, like you normally would. However, I also want to get Etima in. Um, so how do you think Etima would do that, Rich? I'm sorry, do what? Uh, get the droid registered on 1314 so it looks legit. Oh. Oh, your people, maybe they can do it. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> isn't there a Ratataki resource where we had a docs foreman? Yeah, I see it on the NPC page. Oh, she so wants to go talk to this guy. Yeah, that sounds awesome to me. Um, just to to warn you, he's <laughs> with with one of the other noble houses, the one who's uh, <laughs> the, the evil house, House mm -hmm. Maragon, who runs the slavery stuff. Oh, oh. awesome. <laughs> I can't do that. That's that's such a bad idea. <laughs> so gonna talk to him later, but I think the Edema would not be so dumb as she would this time. So she's just gonna remember that for later. Do you um, have some other people to talk to? Yeah, there's gotta be some other folks to talk to. Let's see. I'm gonna hop over to the 1314. Gotta get it registered, right? Register, register, register. Hmm. Maybe like uh, playing into to what the, the sort of things that Etima is good at. Maybe you could pose this as a droid that escaped and Etima's brought it back. It was wiped, 
from by the people who stole it or something. Hmm. So you could basically be pay, playing the bounty hunter for an escape droid. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. We're trying to recruit Girk, or have we already recruited recruited Girk? Uh, working on it. Okay. He was watching um, Bade and her antics. Right. I could go talk to the rebels on thirteen fourteen. They surely need that kind of stuff going on. So let's see. A rebel context fogel costs, but I see Drin, a member of the Aldron Expatriate Network. Let me look at that. Yeah, they Faction. are the um, uh, the people trying to spread the truth about what happened to to Alderaan. I think Adam is going to go hunt down. Is are you seeing Aki or Asi? How do you see her name uh, pronounced? Asi, I think. Okay, Asi Drin. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go try to find Asi Drin in chat. Cool. Edwin's gonna try um, to chatter up. Yeah. How how do you do that? How do you find her? Hmm. I'll just reach out to Fogo Cost, like send a quick mm -hmm. calm message to Fogo Cost. Hey, might need Aussie Drin's help with a droid. Where can I find her? Cool. Um yeah, that sounds like a consort, maybe. Oh, it sounds exactly like a consort to me. As written, it is so consorty. My consort, I have a one. Awesome. Uh, where am I at on stress? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll push myself with a stress. Let's see. Do I have any? Yeah, I don't have any friends or rivals that could help. All right two dice this is a bad idea <laughs> bad ideas are the best ideas <laughs> if you're the gm four four so you do it but there's a, a consequence or a complication um Yeah, um, yeah, Fogal, he tells you, yes, you, you can contact her uh, at this location, and he gives you uh, the name of, uh, of a bar uh, in, where would she hang out, 1314? Um, yeah, there's a bar on uh, Temple Avenue, um it's close to to the glyphs so it's on in the uh, eastern uh, part i guess of, of temple avenue um and you, you does she work there? there we just meet her there okay um and it's a it's a like a a very like cheesy tourist trap kind of place. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's made up to look like, oh, let's see, like, like kind of like a, a swamp or jungle planet sort of thing, but it's all like fake plants and, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's very, very cheesy, uh, cheap uh, place. Or cheap, cheap looking, but actually expensive because it's a tourist trap. Um, so uh, it, it's not cheap. Um, and I think you can meet her there. But yeah, I think your position is going to become desperate because 
there's while while you're there talking to her, um, some stormtroopers are going to uh, walk past, uh, walk into the bar and and uh, start checking things. So you can resist that consequence if you want to. No. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you, you you meet with AC uh, or AC AC AC. I don't know. What do you prefer? And that's what I'll say from now on. I think AC. I think I'm going to say AC. So oh, like the letters A and the letter C. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so you meet her there, and um, she's. I think she's she's a bit suspicious, or like cautious. Um, she hasn't seen you before. You look kind of weird, and uh, mean blue hair, rataki tattoos. It's it's a whole thing. Um, what's your load, by the way? Do you want to look like a plain plain civilian, or do you uh, are you carrying? I mean, both. <laughs> I think she's got a normal load, but she is definitely carrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you have a normal load, then it's clear that you're you're armed, uh, like that sort of thing. It's not like you're then then you're in more than just your street clothes. She's in street clothes, so I think. Wait, should it be light then? Should she be in light um, load? I'm okay if you're saying that it's best if she's in a light load. Yeah, let me actually. I should check the the descriptions just so so that I'm not misleading you. Okay. Uh, with a light load, you're faster, less conspicuous, you blend in with citizens. Uh, in a normal load, you look like a scoundrel ready for trouble. Heavy okay, load, she's in slower, light. you look like an operative on a mission. She's a light, light load. Yeah. And here, I mean, uh, look like a scoundrel ready for trouble. I, I think this is, you're clearly armed, I think is, is the main thing. Uh, from a from a normal load, or that you're like carrying a big bag or something like that. Sure, that makes sense. I'm happy to say light load. She does she not expect trouble. Yeah. This is a nice place. She doesn't really know that mm -hmm. a bunch of uh, stormies would show up. Yeah. Uh, so AC, you're you're talking to AC. Uh, I bought her a drink. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and it's like. You 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 hear the price and it's like no one drink but yeah that's <laughs> that's, uh, that's the prices um, yeah she she's like so why do you need my help with this well I'm due to thirteen fourteen and I figured since you're part of a network you might know some people I'm trying to get a droid that I recently procured registered. And I don't know who to talk to. And I'm not the best friends with the boys in white, if you know what I mean. They don't like my kind. You know how it is. Well, we're, we have the same um, shared tastes there. but um... And I think that's where she, uh, Adama, just kind of pulls her sleeve back it shows the <laughs> tick marks and then at the very base is where the stormtrooper is do, do, do. <laughs> just kind of like real sly and yes it is super dangerous to be doing this as some stormtroopers are walking in but that's how Adam rolls so she'll do the stupid thing to seem cool oh um, impressive um, if you can uh, get out of this, then uh, I'll set you up. And she just gets up and walks out uh, because she doesn't have any trouble with the Stormies. So now you're in the bar with the Stormies. How many? Uh, it's three. 
and they're not like uh, they're not going around questioning people, but they are like making a circuit, checking things out. Oh man, Adam is so torn. Are there cameras in this place? Like, is there um, other security? There's probably not really. I mean, this is a this is a nice part of town. Um, I tend to think that there aren't that many cameras in in Star Wars, um, so probably not. I mean, the 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 guy behind the bar maybe has a blaster or a, or a oh, whatever Yawn. something to to beat someone over the head with, oh, just in case. Great. But probably not. Foreplay, awesome. Uh, yeah, I think she's. Oh God, she really hasn't hurt anybody in a while. I think she's just going to get up and walk out. This is the most painful thing she's ever done. <laughs> um, cool. Give me a roll. Okay. Fly casual. <laughs> I don't know. Fly casual. That's one of my favorite quotes in the prequels. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. original trilogy is just like, it feels like a Harrison Ford impromptu line. It's just so weird. Yeah. Uh, I th- am I prowling? Just trying to be unseen here? Ambushing? Or do you think there's something else that, that I need to hit? Prowl works. Okay. I've got two dice and prowl. I'm not spending anything because because Adam think- Rich is trying to get her to succeed, but Adam wants to fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you're prowling, then it will be obvious to the other people there that you're trying to avoid the, the stormies. Oh, so if you succeed, yeah. they won't see you and you and you'll get out clean. Uh-huh. But it will be clear to, to the other patrons that you really didn't want to be spotted by the by the storm. Hold on a second. Is that a devil's bargain that, that is happening right there? Oh, you, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it is. I, think I will is. take that. Yeah. I'll take that for sure, because that sounds fun. Um, because it's gonna get back to Edam and she's gonna be real pissed off that people think she's afraid of stormies. <laughs> Look at this, there's like there's like a whole squad. Personal kills. I don't take stuff like like someone else shot them first. I don't oh. <laughs> oh. oh well, yes. Um by the way, this was a desperate action, right? Yeah, you said that was in a desperate get okay. the XP. <sighs> Um and you're in a desperate position, so it's the worst outcome. Um <laughs> God, yes. I mean, oh no. Yeah, I think there's going to be two things here. Uh, One is that they're going to spot you just as you're you're about to leave. And they have, um, I think one of them is going to shoot you with stun. So you'll you'll get... uh, like a level one harm stunned, but you can't use armor to to protect from it. Cannot use. He's just making sure you're saying I cannot use yeah. armor to. You cannot use armor. Okay, to protect that, that, from that. that. But you can you can resist. Um, so that's that's one consequence. The other is that AC will see this and she will not want to deal with you because you're obviously don't know what to do. Okay. Uh... I will first resist AC seeing this. Yeah. Um, because that can't happen. I I don't want her to be disappointed. That is that is the worst possible outcome from this. Getting shot, that's an inconvenient. Someone thinking that Adam is incompetent, unacceptable. <laughs> Rich, uh, Val is going to ask you to go by, through this when you get back to the ship. Like, like, so, like, I'm kind of imagining like the the description of this is going to be kind of, you know, uh, slightly not re- reality was right. A little bit modified. Embellished. That was the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, right. Embellished. Yes. I want. Some, I want some embellishments. Like, <laughs> like, why was there even a rope in the cantina that you were swinging off the ceiling from? <laughs> what? That did. It was just there. I don't know. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. How did a dozen stormtroopers get in there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what do you want to resist with? That is a great question. I am going to resist with prowess like she's just oh no this is this is the sorry this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. ac one so i think probably with insight uh which is a three so i will do that and i'll note that even if you uh even if you resist the consequences they have spotted you because you failed the, the role right but ac didn't spot yeah, yeah, yeah. competence yeah. yeah 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 okay Sweet, roll the six. Nice. So no stress from that, and she didn't see this terribleness that's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've actually had an, one more die since you have the true ability. One extra die on all your resistance. Oh, I was trying to find that. It's, it's when I predict uh, when I protect a teammate, I get one die. Is that a smuggler thing that we're talking about? No, it's one of the the ones. It's below the regular smugglers thing it's forged in the fire oh sweet you might get a uh, a critical go ahead and roll another die oh sure yeah, yeah that's true oh, good point good point actually get rid of, of stuff. oh so, just a one uh and then i can resist oh both because it just means more potential stress so i'd like to yeah. resist the stun harm mm -hmm. Uh, as well i think prowess feels right for that yeah, yeah yeah so i'm rolling five dice yeah let me double check uh and this is i'm not protecting okay cool all right here we go wow that is some crap rolls i take two stress from that Dang. Yeah. I have this theory that the more dice we get, the worse things are. <laughs> is, it, is this the uh, uh, Tales? Uh, shoot. shoot uh, uh, the Free Elegon thing, like Tales from the Loop. This is the Tales from the Loop theorem. <laughs> the, the mutant year zero, the more dice you roll, the less chance you have to succeed. It's, the, it's a dice version of the inverse ninja thing. Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm caught the Bria effect because of <laughs> the Bria effect. She <laughs> said, even in spirit, Bria is always with us. Okay, cool. So yeah, it hurts. So the storm has spotted you, um, and uh, one of them says, "Hey, stop there!" And the one of the others fires off a stun bolt, stun shot, but you you just duck it. Uh, and you're you're outside the bar, but they are coming out. They they'll be coming out in seconds, right behind you. So oh sweet. So I'm not actually going to hurt anybody in the bar. No no uh, no. You they they spot you just as you're going out the door. Oh this is perfect. Um, I am going to uh, run away towards an alley so I can kill them both. Uh, that's my plan. It's a battle. It's a terrible plan, but I've got, I, I've got black rage, so I'm gonna be fighting up close and personal. <laughs> but yeah, her plan is to run really hard and then like slide as soon as she gets to the alleyway, so that when they come around, she's on them. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. So basically, you're trying to trick them into. Or, or you're setting up an ambush? Is that kind yeah, of I'm totally trying to set up an ambush. That's exactly That's cool. my 100% my plan right now is to get them thinking they have me on the run, go around uh, the corner of an alleyway and just wait like right in mm -hmm. around the corner. Yep. Cool. Um, sounds like foul to me. Yeah, that, that works. Close violence. I think you get better at these other things besides just killing dudes. <laughs> there are other ways to kill things than to just punch them in the face. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Let me double check this. Got any devil's bargains for me? Um, ooh. Someone else 
spots you, someone who isn't uh, in, not like a security or, or like that, but, but some other person, and that's going to give you one hit. I'll dig it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was bad at her job. Here we go. Oh, God. This is the worst. These dice will be captured. Oh Stop it, dice. Stop it. Don't you remember who I am? I love you, dice. <laughs> yeah. Um, go get your XP. So that's the good part. Damn. <laughs> and um, yeah. I think they, yeah, they spot you. Uh, going around uh, the corner, uh, but they don't. They don't just rush after you. Um, instead, they you 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 stand there around the corner, like pulling your blaster and just waiting for them to to uh, rush after you. And but what you hear is a beep 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 beep, and there's a, a grenade rolls into uh, into the alley. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so you're going to get hit for, yeah, it's severe harm. You're going to hit with, get hit with level three harm. Uh, I will resist that uh, with prowess by jumping the hell out of the way. Listen, mm -hmm. if I can't jump clear of a grenade blast, what kind of storm sto uh, Star Wars is this, darn it? All yeah, right. yeah. Anyway, we'll see if I can actually jump. <laughs> oh. You have five dice. It is five dice. Come on. Come on, dice. Six, but not critical. Yeah. No stress. Yeah. So uh, how does it look like when you when you evade this? It's a wee 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 and I eyes widen and I think she jumps out of the alleyway to war kind of towards them, but if, if she yeah, so stayed back in out into, back into out the into the street. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, so now you're standing like face to face with three stormies with with oh, uh, drawn um, uh, luster carbines. Mm -hmm. um, I think. Yeah, I think you'll have to resist just getting plain shot. Uh, straight away, and then you you'll do something. But that's just a level two harm. Okay, I mean, I mean just level two harm. That's fine. I will resist that uh, because I mean, I'm you real can fast. have you, you can use armor or something, but that means you uh, you're using up some of your very light load. Yeah, I could expend my special armor. Ooh, that's you have special armor. I have special armor, Battleborn. You make expend your special armor to reduce harm from an attack in combat, and that will push yeah. you to what a level one harm. Yeah. So is that less effect? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think I get hit. So I'll expend my special armor. That doesn't use up load, right? That's special. That's correct. Okay, just making That's sure. Correct. Yeah. The, I, I this is one of the things I think is dumb. They shouldn't. He shouldn't have called it special armor. It's just uh, your special ability point. It's not yeah, exactly. because it's not really armor. It's yeah. Slot armor yeah. makes a lot more sense. <laughs> That's really funny. And and say it again, okay. Plot plot armor makes a lot more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. <laughs> oh man. I mean, we've hacked it enough. Maybe we, okay. Uh, I, I want to skirmish. I want to skirmish big time. But if you want to cut away from me, that's totally okay. Um, I think maybe we should take a break because okay. we, we've been going for nearly two hours. Cool. So, Etema, you're facing down three Stormies um, who very much want to shoot you. In the face. We finally agree on something because I want to shoot them in the face. 
So someone's getting shot in the face. We're just disagreeing on who. Let's let's uh, we're, we're getting somewhere. I mean, if we had time to pull call in arbitration, maybe we could. But I think instead, I'm just going to try to shoot first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, did you you did resist just getting shot right away? Right? I did. Which means I think it's my turn to take an action. Um, but if you think actually, that... I don't think you did. Your last roll is is that a grenade? Oh, did I ro roll it? Oh, weird. Or did I do? Is that a grenade twice? No, I didn't do that. Okay, we talked about it, and I guess I didn't yeah, roll it. Yeah. So this is level two harm. No, sorry, you resisted it with your with special, your special armor. armor. There so we go. Didn't, there we go. Okay. Back, I thought we right. That's why you had the blast shot uh, injury. Yep. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Um, wow, I, like break of ten minutes. I literally had a mind wipe right in the middle of it. Sorry. Me too, apparently. <laughs> I'm infectious. Okay, so let's uh, let's check this. So um, you're fighting Stormies. Uh, they are part of Milsec, which means they're tier four. So you're going to have reduced effect because they are well trained. They have good equipment, better equipment than you do. Um, so that's bad. Um, also, you're in a desperate position because you're in a gunfight against multiple opponents uh, on unfamiliar territory. So how do you want to do that? Well, I happen to have this thing called this special ability called black rage i take mm -hmm. plus one d when i fight up close and personal um i don't feel that stormtroopers are someone that have wronged me uh so i don't think the second half applies it just doesn't that feels like a little too much um yeah, probably. I mean, stormtroopers in general are exactly. Are that bad, seems like a really. It's like I'm not a ranger. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a bit. It's a bit tenuous. But these right. if the it had been something. If if some other stormtroopers had recently done something mm -hmm. more personal, then I think that would count. Um, but, but aren't these the same people that put Bria in, in jail? Like, <laughs> like wasn't wasn't it like they were riding that tank and it was her and the assassin and like that was the role. Those were the Stormies on 1313. These are different <laughs> Stormies. <laughs> Touche. Listen, my character's now a ranger, and these are my chosen enemy, okay? No. <laughs> They're like bugbears in armor. Anyway, okay. Uh, good. So uh, I will take the first half plus 1D because I'm planning on fighting up close and personal because they're shooting. Um, this is a terrible idea, mm -hmm. and I'm here for it. Uh, the heat is not bad, but if I kill them, he's going to be real bad. So, yep, I think it's time to declare that I have... Uh, hmm. I think I've got a Vibro knife or two. Yep. Sounds good. That's what I have. So, so I yeah. Yeah. Since you're you're currently at limited effect because you have reduced effect from their superior training and equipment, that means I think you can take out one of them, but mm -hmm. you, you're not going to take out all three in like one uh, one go. That is fair. Do you have any devil's bargains to offer me that I could burn to increase my effect? Ooh. Uh, any suggestions from anyone? Well, the cheap one is they call in for backup. Mm -hmm. um, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, the devil's bargain is that there's there. I will set up a four o'clock for backup 
uh, showing up. Oh, that's awesome. I like the create a clock. Thank you. That's a good one. I just need to steal uh, off somewhere. Put it on the current job. Stormtrooper. Yeah. So one of them. Uh, oh, we need backup. We need backup. As you're leaping towards them. Sweet. Uh, yeah, Edema leaps towards the guy calling for backup, vibro blades out, and she's trying to do the, not that she's seen it, but you know, Anakin to Count Dooku slice across uh, to take that guy out. This will be a normal effect. Yeah. I am rolling skirmish. Mm -hmm. I am fighting up close and personal, therefore that's an extra die, so I am currently rolling five dice. Yes. Okay. Six dice, the devil's bargain. No, sorry, you burned that for extra effect. Yeah, 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 I burned it to get my effect back. So, yeah. and you're desperate. I am desperate. It's a five. Uh, yep, so five. Yeah. <laughs> You jump on this guy, you manage to, I mean, you, you at first the vibro knife like slides across his armor, uh, but then you can like grab his head and pull his helmet aside and jam it in, in uh, underneath there. Does that sound, uh, is that okay for you? That sounds very vicious and great. Yeah, so there's a spray of blood uh but the and the you one of the others you kind of knock aside uh you with this guy you're holding him you you knock him aside but the third one takes a couple of stops steps back and shoots at you um so you are going to take a severe harm if you don't resist uh i will now resist that yeah i will resist that so Plus one, uh, I think it's prowess, right? I'm trying to muscle yeah. my way through. So I'll be rolling five dice. There we go, that's a critical. Yeah, so you lose one stress. Booyah. Uh, yeah, I, that that sounds amazing, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah, so I figure you kind of uh, you you uh, stab one guy, kind of push him at the the second one so that he he can get a shot off. The third one is behind you, but you know uh, exactly when he when he's going to shoot. So you you duck aside, and the the blast bolt uh, goes over you. Um, I am going to put one tick on the clock. There. And uh, what's your your next move? Yeah, there's a part of Rich that wants to try to to intimidate, but I think two of them is a bad call. She's still outnumbered, so just going after the next guy. Uh, yep, yep. The one who's who's unbalanced, or the one who's behind you who shot you or tried to shoot you. Um, I think I'm going to go out to the one who tried to shoot me because the unbalanced guy will have to recover, so I might be able to better my odds here. Yeah, yeah. So you kind of spin around and and go for this. Um, yeah. 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 Um, you still have reduced effect, unless you want to, to Devil's Bargain that up. Um, he's going to get a shot off before you get to him, but not like a great shot. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will take... Um, actually, we should factor in your reduced effect for, for the injury you already have. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I think you're going to take a uh, level one harm from like a, a graze. Um, 
if you don't resist that. And that will just fill out the second part of less effect. Um, yeah. Okay. I will. I need to be a little judicious about holding on to my. Oh, yeah. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. So I'm going to eat that. Um, mm hmm. All right, so I've now filled up my less effect. And yeah, uh, so I think we should factor that in, yeah. uh, which means your your baseline now is zero effect. Uh, you have reduced effect from your harm, and you have reduced effect from, from their superior training and, and equipment. OK, OK. Uh, I, I would like to hear a devil's bargain, but I have a suggestion idea it is terrible go ahead a member of the Rodataki enclave wit mm. is witnessing this yeah yeah that's good i will gladly offer you that one okay i'll, I'll take it she really needs to get out of this alive Oh, oh my God. God! You got Brian. Wow. What? Wow. Okay. Five dice and the highest is a three. That's amazing. That is truly terrible. So that is truly terrible. You how how do you attack this guy? Do you leap at him like you did the the first one, or do you do something different? I, I think what she does is like zigzag towards and then try to tackle to knock him to the to Duracrete mm -hmm. pavement and then stab, stab, stab. That's how she sees it in her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what happens is he, he does the thing that stormtroopers never do, which is like he rolls to the side. He doesn't just stand there and, and shoot at you. Uh, he actually moves. Uh, so you don't get to him in time. Um, the other guy behind you recovers and he is going to shoot you, uh, for severe harm. And I think, I think there's also, because like you're out in the street fighting, um, I think there's also um, uh, like regular Corsac um, cops are going to uh, show up. Uh, if you resist that, they don't show up right away uh, because, but they they uh, they will be uh, either. Oh, sorry. Uh, one consequence is that you get shot. Uh, the other consequence is that uh, there are Corsac uh, cops around who will show up now. If you resist that, it will just be a tick on the uh, on the backup clock instead. You're muted. Okay. I first would like to resist the Corsac showing up, oh. and then that will help me make a decision if I resist getting shot again. <sighs> Okay. Uh, trying to see which of these makes the most sense. It feels like wreck, finesse, skirmish are all part and parcel of this. So I'm going with prowess unless someone thinks insight or resolve makes more sense. It, it's completely up to you. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, it, it's your choice. It's just a question of how you how you figure it. It figures into the the picture. Okay, I take a stress from that. Um, and um, you, I you have I, enough load that you can take armor. Um, that's I true. think that would reduce this severe harm to level one harm, but that means still means that one of your level one harms becomes a level two harm. Or I could just resist it entirely. Um, 
Yeah, I think you can because you're kind of you're close up. Uh, so like you can you can zig and zag uh, that sort of thing. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna resist. Oh, wow, three fours and a five. So that's another stress. So I've eaten up two stress, and th this is really freaking desperate at this point. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah. So you uh, move forward towards the one trooper. He rolls aside. Um, so so you don't get at him. Uh, the other one fires off a blast. You just uh, avoid it. Uh, there's panic in the street at this point. I, I mean, most most people have just run away uh, who, who were nearby. Um, and uh, yeah, what do you do? I think she's going to beat feet. She's going to cut and run at this point, like legitimately mm -hmm. try to get away. To where? Uh, actually down that pitted and probably partially on fire alleyway that they threw a grenade into. Because <laughs> I'm assuming people aren't standing around in the place where a grenade went off. And she'll yeah, do that yeah. to try to climb up uh, the side of a wall, get up some on, on some roofs run across rooftops that's her plan mm -hmm. at current she'll adjust as she goes cool so let's do that the that's the short term uh just get away from this situation mm -hmm. uh cool okay sounds uh, like prowess prowess like you don't think there's an action role but a resistance no sorry uh prow i meant prow okay okay cool I just want to make sure we were on the same page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely right. It's it's definitely an action. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. And I think no. you have reduced the effect because you've taken a couple of shots, mm -hmm. so you're not as able to to climb and jump as you would like to be. Okay, that's fair. Okay, uh, this sucks. I'm only rolling two dice and I can't spend stress to get anything and I don't think I have anything to bonus me. Here we go, come on six, come on, just give me a six, give me a six, I haven't seen one in forever. Three, oh my God. Well, it's a six. If you <laughs> jab them up. Um, yeah you run down the alley um and it is clear there's there's no people there but there's not a lot of cover either um you find like uh, a star wars dumpster uh that you can uh, uh, jump up on and start to maybe you can get up on the roof uh, but before you do that, they have they they're in the mouth of the alley and they are firing like a lot. Um, so you're going to get shot. You're going to take severe harm unless you resist it. I think I'll burn my armor because I'm afraid and trying to be zealous about holding on to those last two stress so i'll burn two armor and take a shot in the back you stupid stormies you <laughs> shot me in the back all i did was cut one of your guys throats what do you mean uh and since you uh you reduced severe harm to you reduced level three harm to level one harm uh which means one of your level one harms becomes a level two harm i think that's how it works So what, how, okay, I, I, I just, I should check actually. Okay. Well, I filled up less effect. So I assumed that that severe would become a, a 1D basically. 
Yeah, but the question is if you have two level one harms or if you have one level one harm. Okay. I think that's the harm. If you suffer a moderate. Um, if you need to mark a harm level, but the row is already filled, the harm moves up to the next row. Oh, so you still have two level one harm. Okay, so I have two on the less effect and one on the minus one D. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And That's how I marked it. We're good. Okay. Um, I'm going to tick the backup clock. So yeah. now it's three two. ticks. It has two. Uh, oh, okay. No, sorry. Yeah, you resisted the the cop showing up. That was one tick. Yeah, so it's one one tick away. Um, I think they're going to tell you to uh, surrender. Give up. You have nowhere to run. Do I actually have nowhere to run? Um, I mean, you could continue to run down the alley, but they're going to shoot you. So I'm I mean, you could try to find cover somewhere, but yeah. I don't think you have like a clean way to run away at this point. Sure, I'd like to maybe duck around the aforementioned dumpster to use that as cover and see if I can clamber up. Because once I get up, I, I have more choices. Alleyways I mean, if, don't you, have if you're climbing choices. up, then you're not behind the dumpster. Yeah, I'm not behind the dumpster. And if I stay hunker behind the dumpster, then I'm just hunker behind the dumpster. Yeah. I have an, an idea mm -hmm. for if I were watching the TV show, this is what I would think. Um, mm -hmm. Like a rope drops down from above, but you don't know who's dropped it down and it's your only way out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, might be me, actually, might be me, may not be me. <laughs> I guess that would be a consort be, role. This could be a time for someone to use a flashback. Um, like oh, you yeah. were actually covering Etima, like shadowing Etima when she was doing this, and now is when you show up to to help oh, out. Oh, that's to, good. Had to finish my shawarma. Um. <laughs> nice. Um, do you want to do that, Val, or do you want me to? Because I can do it. I, I can like do it the idea. If you want to. Yeah. No, I like the idea of like the the two of you are getting closer, like that kind of thing. Maybe. Oh, that's true. Oh, shh. No, that's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> so yeah actually i will uh how many stress do you think that'll be for a flashback that uh it depends on exactly what you want to have uh, set up yeah um i think the setup would be how about it it's as easy as i was nearby and i think whenever things started going down at my head a button right set off a thing on the comm unit so i arrived late that explains why I wasn't here in time to help out with the fight. But I think this is where I have. Uh, um, so if I had a speeder, that would be more difficult. But it would help us get away better. So I think, yeah, I think I, I've got a speeder that, you know, pops over the edge of that alley with a rope hanging down. Nice. Um... Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, it's not an elaborate action, so I think it's still just one stress. Okay. Um, but you're going to have to, I mean, this isn't an automatic escape. You're still right. going to have to make some rolls to, to make this work. But to just show up there with a speeder when Etma has had, I mean, we, we, we can just flash back to earlier in this scene and Etma just calls you on the on the comms. Oh. Yeah. Um, like, I'm in I trouble. Think, yeah. Well, I don't if, think she was in okay trouble with, at first. Uh, with Rick. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think it would be more of an all call. I think Edibus doesn't expect that Bade would save her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she thinks that Bade hates her. So uh, she would have done an all call to the crew. Hey, in trouble at, uh, I, I'm going to call it, uh, the the Kashiki and Sheik, that jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar. That's great. <laughs> and I think um, rather than just a rope hanging down, I think the speeder comes down on the alley, 
right in between Etima and the troopers. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, one stress for Bade for, yeah. for uh, having uh, a speeder and being uh, nearby. Um, and then I think, uh, so you show up, you, and what, what kind of speeder is this? Is this a speeder bike? Is it an air speeder, land speeder? Um, I think this was whatever was closest, you know, that I could just put my hands on. So this oh, was probably, are... I'm sorry? Like a TIE fighter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining oh, so this you're, is... you're just jacking something. It's not yeah, like I you... Think, I think I just grabbed like a, a, a food truck kind of thing. Um, like literally some guy is trying to sell, you know, he's maybe it's the equivalent of an, like an ice cream truck and he's, you know, driving down the road and I like yank him out, hop in and take off. So I think there's like food stuff in the back that's kind of spilling out and all of that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I love that image. But I think you can make uh, like my, like make a fortune roll with uh -huh. like uh, two dice to see how how good of a of a vehicle you you uh, manage to to grab. Okay. Could I make that a finesse roll? Because that's about thieving and what is it? Oh, that's picking pockets. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I think this is just to. The, the, I think this is a fortune roll because it's not up to your skill. It's just what, what is available. Right. So I got a five. Yeah. Then I think um, I think you can get something that's maybe a little bit better. We, we can stick with a, with a food truck if you want it. Uh, but it has like a, it has a fully enclosed um, driving compartment so yeah. that you're a bit protected. Uh, right now, yeah, cool. So, Bade shows up, and or do you just like skid into the alley, or do you come from behind Etima? How how do you show up? Yeah, I think the Etima is like you know ducks behind that uh, dumpster that was there, and that's whenever the the ship the the truck pops over the edge of the alley and lands among the smoke and debris, and I imagine that like the passenger windows there. And Bade pulls out like a pistol and aims it in the direction of where Etima is standing or where that dumpster is and pulls the trigger to blast out that window and says, get in, you know, get in right away. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, so at this point, uh, the stormtroopers are going to fire. Uh, yeah. And they, they are firing. Uh, wildly uh now they're doing the the standard stormtrooper uh, thing um so um i think for etima to get into etima will have to resist getting shot to get into the truck um and i think bade will have to resist having the uh the truck truck get shot up uh badly okay so um, one of the new uh, abilities that I just took is Foresight. So, Rich, mm -hmm. you get an assist from me without me paying stress. Nice. Let's talk about how we prepared for this. So I imagine maybe there's a training session that happened. <laughs> Not yes. like you jumping into a truck, but like maybe jumping around and doing a little bit of parkour to get ready for, you know, events. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to resist first? Sure. So I get a, an assist on this resistance, right? Oh, is that um, true? I yeah. don't know. I, well, you said you're giving me an assist. Oh, uh, I got to resist. I'm going to assist on the... Me. Yeah, I'll need the assist on the... And then... Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure you can assist. No, that's, assist. no, no. I, yeah. I'd rather that assist help me with getting in because I'm going to need to resist and then do a thing to get into the speeder or do I just need to resist? No, no, you get getting in. I, I think you're getting into the speeder at this point. That's easy enough that you don't need to roll for it. Okay. But you need to make a resistance roll to not get, or actually, 
actually let's 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 do it this way. You can either make an action roll to get into the speeder, or you can resist getting shot. So if I make the action roll, is that saying I'm agreeing to be shot or? No, then actually we I, I should pick one or the other. I think it's an action roll to get into the to okay. into the speeder. Then I'll take the assist. Yeah. And I mean, I think this is all about movement. So unfortunately, it's got to be prowl, right? Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. I, I mean, I don't want it to be prowl, but he's prowl. Uh, um, so I do have will be three dice, but a minus one die from ha the wounds. So I'm at two dice because yeah. it would be two dice for prowl, one dice for assist, minus one die for lesser effect from injuries, right? Yes. So I'm back to two. Yeah. And I think the less effect here means that you're you're not going to like land perfectly. You're 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 scrambling into into the uh, the truck basically. Oh God. Well, that's not. Even great. if you add both together, that's a fail. <laughs> Still a three. Yeah. Um, I got okay. Brian again. Oh wait! 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 <laughs> Let me look for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, have so I do have something. I don't have anything to help you better with that role, but I have um, BD-8, my droid, who I can spend two stress and they can bring me something. Interesting. So um, the droid could potentially like pop underneath you and help you limp your way back into the car. I'm into it. I, I, yeah, that works. That works. But you still have to deal with your consequences of your role. Yep, I do. Yeah. And uh, right. you also, BD-8 will, will uh, suffer a consequence from, from that list, which is probably suffering level two harm. Oof. Um, so I pay stress or... The oh, GM oh, picks or one. the yeah. GM. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I could, stress, uh, I could let it take harm, or I could pay the stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, well, consequence for Ethema. Um, I mean, you'll get shot. I think that's the that's what's going to happen. Um, it's a severe harm. I will resist that. Oh, gosh. All it's right. boring, but it's kind of... No, weird, no, no, no. I'm not saying it's boring. <laughs> I'm just scared because I only have two stress left. That's all I'm saying is with the dice yeah, yeah, I've yeah, got. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oof. That's it. That eats my Oof. last two stress. Yeah. Oof. So, so that traumas you out, right? Yeah, that traumas yep. me out. And that doesn't have to mean that you're unconscious, but it means you can't act anymore. You, yep. you can't do anything meaningful in the in the scene anymore. Um, so Bade, you need to resist the truck getting shot up. Yeah. So I'll do that first. Is that a resist or is that going to be an action roll? This is a resist. A resist. Okay. Yeah. And I think that would probably, what would that be with? Probably not resolve. Prowess or insight. Maybe insight in that, um, you know, knowing which areas of the truck should could take a hit. Sure. Because I'm not really fighting back. Um, I'm trying to get uh, Bay, or I'm trying to get Etima into the vehicle. So I think I mean, that's it, with. Yeah. Inside no, go ahead. No, no, no. Okay. I, I meant it, it could be you fighting back. Like if after you blast the the window out, you, you blast, uh, you shoot a couple of shots uh, to the storm troopers, stormtroopers to just make them take cover. But it's four dice either way. 
Yeah. Or five. So, since you have the um, extra die for resistance. Okay. And this is desperate? It's a resistance roll, so so Okay, uh, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay. five dice to see if you take any stress. So I take one stress. Yep. Okay. Um which means you then, don't want to pay two stress for, for BD8. Right. But I think that's the only way out. So I will let you pick one of that list, which is they suffer level two, you suffer level one, or they bring something but not what I wanted. Yeah, not the last one because I mean bringing Atoma was <laughs> was the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so, but I think it's BD8 uh, getting shot. BD8 takes level okay. two harm. So okay. it's like. Uh, I think what's happening is Etema, if this is okay with, with you, Rich, Etema is kind of pinned down behind the dumpster and, and BD-8, uh, like Bade shows up in the truck, blasts out the, the passenger side door, uh, BD-8 jumps out and like reaches reaches for you, uh, but th there, there's too much fire, so, so you can't really do it. So BD-8 has to jump out. And and like grab you and and drag you towards the uh, to, towards the truck and and push you into it uh, because you're you're badly hurt, uh, which means BD8 takes a hit. You grab onto BD8 and then uh, Bade is ready to to take off. Does that make is that okay? Yes, that's great. And I think what we see on screen a little bit is those hits as they hit the droid, you know, and it's kind of shielding Etima from from the gunfire. Yeah, 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 exactly. Blaster fire. Cool. Yeah. So totally now nebby all... moment. <laughs> now you're all in the truck. I am. I'm going to tick the last uh, tick on the clock, which means backup for the stormies show up. Um, yeah. So I think what what you see through the the um, because you're you're still uh, some ways into the alley, like you're you're not right at the at the mouth of the alley, uh, so you see like a, a troop, uh, one of the like kind of like an an APC uh, speeder, like a, a hover a APC. It's a, it's not a huge one, but 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 it's definitely uh, a, a serious vehicle. And, and the doors open and storm is start to to uh, stream up. Um, so what do you do, babe? Yeah, I'm leaving. Um, I think <laughs> I think that what I need smart. to do. Yeah, I think what I need to do is um, uh, leave here as quickly as possible. But I think to keep them occupied so they don't just you know immediately come after us or jump. I think I'm going to drop a grenade on them. Um, so I'm going to mark off demolition tools, right? I think demolition tools is more like. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like a sledgehammer or something and like that. Sledgehammers and stuff. Um, but I think a fine, unusual weapon could definitely be a grenade. Yeah, so I'll do that. Um, a thermal grenade, basically, drop it out the uh, uh, the window. And the intention here is not to damage the stormies; it's to cover our attack or yeah. cover our exit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll roll finesse. Uh, yeah, absolutely. For driving. Yeah. And do you have a devil's bargain? Um. Ooh. I do. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The Rotataki that witnessed all this has been recording it. Ooh. What for what? <laughs> well, maybe maybe it can be used as dirt later. Or for your trial. <laughs> or for our trial. Yeah. <laughs> Brie is lonely. Brie is lonely. Come we will take her. over the block. <laughs> yeah. Season 15 of this show got really weird that you think we all went to prison. 
It's like the, it became orange is the new black. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds like a fair devil's bargain. Oh. Okay, let me roll that. I got a six. Finally, a six. Someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dice gods played pity on us because I only rolled four dice, and I think Rich played, paid, rolled five or ten dice all in a row that were all fails. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of dice. That's... It was a yeah. lot of dice. The, the, yeah. They definitely wanted Bade to save me. It's awesome. But you should have a lot of XP from all those desperate rolls. She now is Edema. Now rolls three dice for Prowl instead of two. Wow. <laughs> uh, and this was desperate for you as well, Bade. Steve ah, would, okay. So, so uh, yeah, Bade gets, Bade gets an XP for, for the action, and you get oh, an I should XP have asked, for the Devil's What's Park. the effect? Um, I think you have standard effect since you're using the grenade. Uh, um. So with standard effect, does that mean if I uh, if I succeed in the roll, I can get away? Yeah, at this point, yeah. Since okay. they're now they are on foot, you can like speed down the alley. Uh, they can't get the APC into the alley. So at at this point, standard effect is is enough to to get away from this this situation. But you're still, I think, you're still in trouble uh, okay. because. Now you're you're escaping in a damaged speeder uh, in unfamiliar territory with uh, storm is looking for you. So yeah. I want one more roll to see just how do you get away from this. Okay. And what's your what's your solution to uh, how how do you how do you yeah how 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 do you get away from from the escape the the manhunt basically. Um, so I kind of want to pull Val in here. So Val, you've got a ship, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's one way we could get away. Another way is um, we could just hide out someplace or... Um, oh, oh, so we have like different places where we park the ship, right? Maybe this is where we introduce one of those places on screen. Hmm. Could be. Like evasive um, maneuvers, but you get back to base or something like that. I don't know. And the thing yeah, dies right so, out front of, in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> to just to establish the situation a bit, uh, you're still in the Temple Avenue uh, like neighborhood. Um, you're on the south ed edge of that near the Glitz. So you're basically straight up north from the Ratataki Enclave. If you're looking at the at the map. But you're in Temple Avenue. Is that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and where you usually park the ship is over near the Rand in the reclamation zone. So that's ways, ways away. But that doesn't mean that you can't have a prepared landing uh, landing area. But I think that would require uh, a flashback from from someone to to have that uh, set up. So, in that case, one of the things I you know, I like and I'd like to see on screen is basically setting this truck on autopilot down the thoroughfare towards the docks, right? So they see this truck barreling that way, and I don't care if it crashes and blows up or anything like that, as long as they chase it and not us. Um, and then I think we go underground, meaning, you know, we try to, you know, uh, hit the street, you know, go uh, we go underground, so basically we try and hit our contacts and that kind of stuff to be hidden. Um, so let's see. Do we have good contacts on 1314? We have the rebels. We have the noble house. We have some citizens. Ooh, ooh. What if I try, what, you know, you, you just said we're very close to the Radikataki um enclave what if i try and go there to hide out because i mean surely they'll take care of their own right yeah yeah that, sounds... that uh unfortunately that sounds like a perfectly reasonable uh idea yeah so i think that's what i'll do so what's more interesting for me to make this roll on trying to keep the uh 
trying to set up the vehicle to be autopilot as a distraction or to try and talk my way into the enclave? Um, I think it's more... I think it's more fun if we, since we're almost out of time, I think <laughs> it's more fun if we cut the action just as you're showing up at the Enclave. So let's okay. make the role for, for uh, using the truck to, to pull the Stormies away. Yeah. Um, so I think that would probably be a tinker then. Sounds fair. Um, I can't push myself. Um, uh, can you... Uh, think of a devil's bargain for me. Um, uh, person that owned the truck is in the Rotosaki Inclave. <laughs> 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 uh, um, one I can like... think of is there's identifiable information in the truck. So whenever they examine the remains of the truck or the explosion or the crash they'll figure out oh this is this would lead us lead it back to us our heat's going way up by the way guys yeah yeah, uh, yeah. i think i i have i have a devil's bargain um you don't have time to rig the truck to 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 like set up an autopilot but bd8 can drive the truck uh, oh they won't capture bd8 but He'll have to drive the truck and then like jump out at some point, so he'll be he'll be lost for a while. Oh, um, and then work his way back. Yeah, yeah. And I'll I mean, probably make some sort of fortune roll for him to see how how well that goes. Okay, and to be honest, that makes sense. That's very Star Warsy, right? Is the droid has to drive the truck? So yeah, let's do that. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, but I still got to roll it and see how badly it turns out. Only gets about one die. Is BD-8 like the the droid that was driving the train in uh, Boba Fett? <laughs> um, BD-8 is like uh, oh, the... it's a ball. It's a ball one, right? Oh no, uh, BD-8 no. is like BD-1 from the Fallen Jedi Order stuff. There's a picture uh, on, on a little two-legged tiny guy. He's a little. Okay. All right. Okay, oh, so let's roll like sit on the dashboard and stare with his feet with his head uh, swiveled around yeah and kind of broken in a kimbo so okay mm -hmm. so i'm gonna roll my mighty three dice and see where that gets me yep and i got a five yeah so you're still desperate so you do it with a consequence um i think i think there's going to be a serious complication, which is that the stormtroopers are going to, they're going to maintain, uh, the, they're not just letting this go because the, the truck crashed or, or whatever. They are going to be actively looking for, uh, for suspicious people. I think, I mean, they, they've got a good look at Etma, they yeah. at least a couple of them saw Bade temporarily through through the yeah. in the truck, and we have so a Ratataki recording. Yeah, yeah, and the Ratataki recording. So they will be actively looking for you for a period of time. Yeah. So you can that resist sense. that, or you can uh, just suck it up. I think I'm just going to suck it up because I don't want to trauma out and all of that. I want to see how this goes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. So I think we've said that we would go uh, like quarter past since we were starting uh, later. Uh, but I think we need to get into uh, wrapping up um, with. Um, did we want to name the ship? I heard someone might have an idea. That'd be me. Um, so this is my pitch. Uh, I'm willing to workshop it or, or drop it, but uh, you know I've been thinking about the the phrase this entire time. You know that's no moon, um, and you know Alderaan. I looked it up; doesn't have a moon either. Um, so I, th I was thinking about that. I'm like, what what does that mean though? And it's like if 
if there is no moon, then you cast no shadow. So I was thinking like shadowless or something like that, Ooh. or or the moon of Alderaan, one of the two, right? Um, I like the Alderaan moon. That's, I mean, that's really significant. If Alderaan, I didn't know Alderaan didn't have a moon, so um, now it doesn't have anything. But well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it's Alderaan the, the asteroid day, field, right? Too 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 soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. But I mean, to a certain extent, now it's sort of like the. Uh, uh, you know, back whenever all around was still there, it's sort of like the ships and its trade was the moon that it didn't have. Or maybe it was the Alderaan name for the moon in their myths that they don't, that they don't have anymore or something like that. But, you know, it will like translate. I, yeah. I, I like both, but I think Shadowless is a really cool name. So. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Shadowless is really cool, and I like it's a little more universal. Yeah, so. I like both. Is, is Val's ship, Kai, which do you prefer? Um, well, maybe I have uh, different uh, transponders with different names on them. So one of them is Shadowless, and the other one is the Moon Alderani Moon or something like that. Yeah, the, the, the moon of Alderaan or, or yeah. Alderaan moon or what, whatever yeah. you want to yeah. go with there. That could be like the, the rebel uh, identity because sure. maybe you don't want to use that around the, around the empire. Right, but right, Shadowless right. works uh, yeah. for that. Cool. Nice work. Thanks. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's. I think we, we have to break now and do XP and that sort of thing. Um, so we'll finish up the job next session. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> screwed. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of snowballed. Uh, <laughs> I said so, different ideas. <laughs> um, Let's do crew XP first. You stop, didn't stop recording. Stop. Do we stop recording on XP? I thought we just did on feedback. Okay. Oh, feedback. No, you're right. Feedback. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right. We we can uh, we can record the XP. I don't yeah. think anyone yeah. cares. But my, uh, my, my, my bad. It's been two weeks. Um. Yeah. You didn't finish the the jobs. So you haven't executed an operation. Uh, you did contend with challenges about your current station. Um, you're welcome, guys. <laughs> uh and i think do you think you hit this twice once for the stormies and once for what yeah i'm what not sure i'm not sure if, if the whole situation with the stormies is intense enough that it should count twice or if it's uh or if i would that say is, just once is two yeah yeah let's say it's one so that's one for that. Did you bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one? Your current reputations are professional and loyal. I think loyal. They came for me. Yeah. They yeah, that should count. Me. So that uh, fills you up so that you get an advance. And then did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew? Uh, attacking Stormies is kind of the central nature of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about sneaking away, but I, I realized that our central nature is all about attacking Stormies, guys. That's why we got kicked out at 1313. That's why we in prison. All that. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think that, uh, I mean, get, getting into fights with Stormies, it's kind of what you do. So, yeah, I think that you should get next to that. <sighs> So that means you have an advance. And we have future advanced push. smuggling compartments. Let's just take it. Um, you could also finish up your steady under crew upgrades to get an extra stress box. Oh, damn, that would be good. So what does that uh, mean? Does that mean that we get an extra stress box like all, for the PCs? For, yeah. Yep. Does, oh.
I'm one trauma away from not playing Adam anymore. So that one sounds good. <laughs> wow. Yikes. Ten stress boxes sounds about right for her. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Yep. Cool. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, you're not you're not getting any heat yet because we haven't finished the job. So uh, that's for later. So XP. Let's start with Val. Did you address a challenge by? with indignation or by putting others' needs ahead of your own? So I figured out how I wanna do the indignation um, in the future. Yeah. So I've got this ability where um, it says, uh, anyone who can sense to seeing you seeing to their injuries or listening to your advice can either recover a stress or a tick on their healing clock. And basically it's gonna be like that. They did what? And just be indignant <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> so, you know, it's a little synchronicity thing there. Um, but good. the only thing I can think of is that like, we're doing this entire drug thing just because someone's sick. Right. So that would be the putting others needs ahead of my own, I, I guess. But I mean, we're smugglers. Like this is our job. Smugglers, Edema. Smugglers. <laughs> I, I try, I smuggled the gun into a, a cantina that counts. For um, smugglers are really out to make money. Right. Sure. And there's not a whole lot of profit in helping sick people. Now, we are doing it to garner favor with a noble house, but I'm just saying. Okay. Well, um, uh, I, I, think I think that's, uh, I don't think it was quite address a challenge. So, yeah, uh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Only if naming the ship counts. I think that counts. Yes. I mean the the name is is part of of uh, of you. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? Uh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, this feels a, a bit a bit crappy. You didn't get much it's screen okay. time, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, sometimes I get a new special ability. I would go. Bade, did you address a challenge with theft or guile? Well, I think I kind of stole a truck, right? So that is true. That is true. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Um, probably, but my beliefs in the crew. And you know, needing to protect those or be there for those of us who need it. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect I'd have to be there for Edema, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds That's fair. Cute. Thanks, uh, buddy. Yeah. Did you struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? I don't think so. My my vices are pleasure and gambling, and then my trauma is unstable. I don't think I did anything unstable. Not quite. <laughs> I mean, if I turned around and like kissed the Stormies or something like that and then ran off, maybe that would have been unstable, but no, I don't think so. Cool. So that's two XP? Yeah. Um, Etima, did you address a challenge with violence or coercion? <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think you did. <laughs> Poop. Okay. Yeah. Did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? I feel like going head up on on Stormy's, at, maybe, but I also feel like that was definitely reckless and vicious. So, I don't think it should be both. Cool. Um, I think showing off your your uh, stormtrooper skills, <laughs> I think that should count. Right. <laughs> Forgot that. And uh, yeah, struggle with issues from your vice or trauma. I think reckless. Uh, you definitely hit reckless. Yeah. 
I'm trying to get to vicious, but the dice didn't want me to be vicious. They wanted me to be reckless and incompetent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were kind of vicious, but also kind of just <laughs> I fighting, I guess. I mean, uh, right, right. If that makes sense. No, it does. It does. I didn't get to do extra to anybody. Yeah, yeah. You got plenty of XP anyway. So. I did. How much did you get this session? Uh, I had like a one tick, I think, in prowess, and I rolled over. So <sighs> I went to, from fine. two prowl to three. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So um, let's uh, end the recording and do Stars of Wishes. Okay. <laughs>